Hi lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids. I am back after many requests uh, for a health and fitness journey update. I thought I would bring that to you all as well as a simple tip video, eight things that I've done over the past few months that have helped me live a healthier and more active lifestyle. For those of you who don't care about my life or anything that I have to say and just want to see the tips go ahead and click wherever on the screen where that the time indicates where I'm going to start with the tips anyways <laughs> to give you all a little bit of background on me at the back end of 2012 I was probably in the best shape of my life I went from being able to jog just five minutes down my street barely struggling to jogging 50 minutes with ease on a track and um, I was eating amazingly so many greens so many veggies so many well-balanced meals I was happy and high spirit so positive everything was going amazing and then I just started picking up more and more work more and more jobs and now I'm working at three companies um, 2013 I didn't have too much I had issues balancing it but um, 2014 strictly was a work year for me as I mentioned in my life update and the more I started focusing on work and centering my days around work the less I started concentrating on keeping myself in better shape um, so after really pushing myself the back end of 2014 um, I would say the last few months really trying to just develop better habits like I used to I have made some progress um, I haven't seen any weight change on the scale, but definitely everybody's saying I look much smaller and some of my friends are like, no, you have had to have lost 10 to 15 pounds because you look so much better. So here's some photos of myself that I've taken more recently. I don't have comparison photos because when I started noticing that I was getting out of shape, I obviously don't want to be flaunting my body off because I wasn't really happy with it and I knew I could do better so um these are just over the last couple weeks honestly I think those are from like last week or the week before that so they're very recent and very true to how I am now um obviously before I start I want to say I'm not the most fit person ever and far from an expert in this area but I am somebody who values just health and staying active and taking care of myself so hopefully me sharing my insight on my struggles and my journey will help some of you now to get to some of the tips <laughs> water intake you do not realize how important it is until you up your water intake and realize how much of a difference it makes in the amount that you use in the restroom how much energy you have how parched you tend to get more frequently you you don't realize how important it is until you start drinking more of it i try to get in at least two of these a day and anytime i look at my water bottle i try to make it a good practice to drink water because what i was doing is some days i would work from 8 a.m to 12 at night and i can only drink i mean think of probably 24 ounces of water that i've drank all day and that is absolutely ridiculous you need water so much for your body for in every way it contributes so much to your body functioning properly so the next thing is physical activity physical activity is something i've actually grown to really enjoy doing um i used to go super duper hard and push myself still out till i was ready to pass out and everything i don't mind having those days and definitely when i have free time i really like to go hard in the gym and at home but generally the way my week is structured i don't have time for that but what i do always make sure i have time for at least four days of the week is a 20 to 30 minute workout if that means i'm waking up 20 or 30 minutes earlier i have to do it um and that's honestly how I started getting back into shape wasn't doing workout DVDs wasn't doing all kinds of crazy stuff just doing general sit-ups push-ups jogging in place just little exercises that were gonna get get me active um, when I woke up a lot of people have trouble um, structuring their routine around that but literally all you have to do is give yourself an extra 30 minutes in the morning to get that done and it's not even every single day of the week that you have to do it I highly encourage you if you are not the person who wants to buy a gym member membership or doesn't really have time to work out just find small exercises that you can do on a regular basis because 20 minutes a day doesn't feel like it's making a huge difference but when you're doing 20 minutes that many times a week it does and honestly every little bit of physical activity you add to your day is contributing to you being in better shape so I always make time for it that's a huge recommendation recommendation from me try to make time to get some extra physical activity in 
general eating habits you need to make sure your portion size is under control you need to make sure you're eating tons of greens fruits and veggies you need to make sure you're eating breakfast every day you need to make sure you are doing these things because as soon as you start slipping that's when you will notice a change in your energy in your body and everything make sure you are eating properly I try I struggle so much with one eating breakfast and then two making sure that I'm eating frequently enough through the day because I'll literally sometimes not eat until one o'clock and then just go to sleep at night with with nothing in between and that's a terrible way to to eat but it's a way that a lot of people eat because they are so busy or they lack concern for the way they're taking care of themselves make sure you're eating good meals um, even people because I don't eat any meat outside of fish and a lot of people think I'm suffering because of that but the amount of greens and everything that I consume on a regular basis to replace everything else is amazing and honestly a lot of people act like you're supposed to be eating a Thanksgiving feast with meat with ham and turkey and chicken and everything on your your plate every single time you're eating a meal which isn't the case but whatever you need to do to reevaluate your thought process with food or the way you're structuring things change it up because it is a major co contribution to how you feel how you look and just your overall health so make sure you are keeping your eating habits in check Snacking is something that you can very easily change. Well, for some people it might be really difficult. I know for me earlier on it was, but it's something that you can change that's minor, that does make a huge difference in the end. I advise you to stay away from all types of temptation. Don't be buying the eight fun size packs of candy bars, a full box of cookies that you can bake for yourself, or just a thing of Oreos knowing good and well you're going to devour half a roll in one sitting by yourself. Don't be buying these huge bags of chips and stuff, especially if you don't have anybody to share it with. I know before when I was in college, sometimes I would literally buy the huge Walmart, like three rolls of cookies, and just just anytime I thought to be shoving it in my face and that's uh, it's disgusting the thought of it now <laughs> and it's just like what the heck are you doing how can you say that you even want to get fit if you're throwing all that garbage into your body at once and then you're just going to crave more of it and run to the store it's just an endless cycle of snacking on trashy things that aren't good for you and then find better replacements substitutes for yourself if I want something sweet I'll get a fruit smoothie or a banana or an apple I'm not saying just go to a fruit because I know that doesn't work for everybody, but there are crackers you can get that are better. There are just a lot of different alternatives that you can get instead of snacking on the standard the just unhealthy things that you would normally put in your body. And my last food tip is something that I feel like the vast majority of people will struggle with just because it's so common now, is to avoid fast food. Honestly, now, especially when I was working like crazy, when I had a crazy busy schedule, I was stopping at fast food places maybe five times a week. Five days a week I was eating some type of fast food and I thought it would be better when I'm sitting in at a restaurant and everything's prepped properly or if I'm getting a salad over other things but it's just nothing like having a meal at home that's cooked slowly and properly like you need it to be. There's nothing in that compares to that. It, re it really isn't. So um, I forced myself to start making food at home. Um, if I know I'm going to have a busy week, work week ahead of me, which is most of the time, I'll take my Sunday off and literally cook three different meals, packaging them up, them up and have them ready to go throughout the week. Something that I've definitely gone to more recently is mason jar salads, which I will have for lunch at dinner at work. Rather than ordering a pizza, because that's the only thing that delivers around here and I can't leave the office, I would just be just scraping up french fries that are in the freezer there, just everything ridiculous you can do. Eliminate the fast food, the fried food, all of that stuff. Do just just stop it. It's okay if you're doing it maybe once a week or something like that, but the, it, this shouldn't be a very regular thing. And when you do go out, don't ruin all the work you've done consistently throughout the week because you want to splurge one day. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just get your your 
without eating cabbage together and try to eat in more and just try to take more time cooking if you can't cook this is a perfect time to figure out how ladies especially since men want to talk about how raggedy we are because we can't cook even though they can't change their own light bulb um not gonna get into that but i'm just saying this is your time to show them up and let's get our meals together while we're getting our bodies together my next bit of advice to you is to make sure you are getting rest. My college days a few years ago, there would be some nights when I would get three hours of sleep. And looking at that now, I'm like, how did I even function? How did I even get through my day? Because I know when it's a little bit past my bedtime now, I'm feeling like I'm drunk or something. Like, can't think properly, can't articulate anything, nothing is going right, I can't balance right. I literally feel like I'm intoxicated or something because I'm so out of it so I don't see how I was running on three hours of sleep regularly but um definitely now I am fully an eight hours girl I don't play with my sleep if I know I'm gonna be in the bed super late I'll make sure I sleep in <laughs> so <laughs> I'll wait till the very last minute before I have to get ready to work if I have to just to make sure I get my full rest in because especially if you are going to be going hard in the gym working out regularly and just everything you're doing if you have a hard work schedule a very demanding life and everything you need to make sure you are well rested before you are trying to take on the day that combination of sleeping right as well as getting more water in my system has just worked wonders for me i literally wake up in the morning feeling like a new woman every day just from doing that alone even if i'm slipping on my diet and my activity just the water and bed combination is just like girl yes <laughs> so just make it sh make sure you're getting enough um sleep and um just make sure you're refueling your body after these long days that you're experiencing that's not only good for you when you're concentrating on your healthier lifestyle but just in general it's gonna really improve your life in a lot of ways just by you getting more rest and taking better care of yourself which leads me to my next point make taking care of yourself a priority so many times we act like it's an inconvenience just to hit the gym after a long day or just to prepare a meal for ourselves we act like we're inconveniencing ourselves if we have to take a moment to take care of ourselves and that is a absolutely positively terrible mindset to have my reward after a long day is to go to the gym and let off some steam and get that last workout in to give some time to myself to just think clear my mind get out any tension whatever that's my time to feel good about what I'm doing in my life regardless of what happened at work that's that stays at the door that's when I have a moment to myself and that's exactly how you should feel you taking care of yourself should feel like a reward and it should be a priority to yourself these bosses no matter if you have a close relationship with them or not they're worried about their business, they're worried about their companies, they're worried about their money. Your co-workers do not care that much about your life. I mean, granted, we do have friends and everything who are looking out for us, but no one can take better care of you than you yourself. You need to make sure you are knowing your limits and just making yourself a priority. Take, put yourself first above all these other things. Those of you who have families, if you have them to take care of, if you have a husband or a wife, make them work out with you. If you um, have a family with kids and everything, go to the park and all of y'all go out and play together. That's something that's contributing to the health and better lifestyle of all of you. So don't blame it on all of these dedications and priorities because at the end of the day, you're missing out on so much just by not giving time to yourself. Like I said, it only only takes 20 minutes a day sometimes just to fix an appropriate meal for yourself or to work out so make sure you are fitting that in when you have this standard nine to five and kids and, and boyfriend and all this other stuff to take care of make you a priority and it will improve your life and my very last bit of advice is just to accept that this is a lifestyle change if what you're doing currently in your life is causing you to be unhealthy unfit unhappy whatever uh, unlike yourself if these are issues you know that they're issues you're identifying issues which is why you want to make a change accept this as a full lifestyle change because you don't want to be the person that you are in that aspect anymore you don't so it, think of this as a lifestyle change getting fit eating right it shouldn't feel like a chore it shouldn't feel like oh my goodness i gotta hit the gym or dang it i gotta cook dinner Th these 
should be things that you embrace as just the new you <laughs> not just because it's a new year new you and everything but because you are working towards being a better version of you and this is the lifestyle that that better person needs to have don't think of the old habits the things you're used to the things you're comfortable with because though that's a lifestyle that d didn't need to exist because it wasn't good for you this is a full-blown lifestyle change you need to constantly be thinking about your fitness your health your your diet everything not to the point that it's obsessive but definitely to make it a part of your life i don't i brush my teeth and then i work out and then i shower <laughs> it's just part of my daily routine because I have made that a part of my life. I have to get in one workout before the day is no matter when it is just because that is part of my daily life routine. I just can't do it without. I have to get in at least at the very minimum of, of cup of greens every day. Not because it's like oh well I love greens. I can't even say that I don't want to have my greens because <laughs> But it's just one of those things where it's like my life doesn't feel complete at the end of the day unless I get my cup of greens. I need my cup of greens. <laughs> but it's just like your this is this is something that you should be happy about because it's it's something that you're doing that's better for yourself. So always just have the mentality that this is something that you're doing to improve your life and it's something that you should have enthusiasm towards. Yes, it's gonna get rough. That's and yes, you you lose focus sometimes. That's why so many of us try to go on these crash diets or after the holidays or whatever we we all slip and everything but even in those moments I'm personally I'm just happy that I can see that I'm not happy with myself when I am slipping enough to push myself to do better just because I do enjoy a healthier lifestyle not diets not not trying to get skinny or anything I just enjoy a healthier lifestyle and um that's how I advise you all to think of it think of it as something that you're doing to improve your life and it, it's a complete lifestyle change the way you're thinking the way you're eating the way you're performing the way you're feeling everything is different so embrace that and accept that and um keep it moving forward this video is much longer than I expected it to be. Um, the least y'all can do after this is check out my website. It has been redesigned, new and approved, very much. Easy access, everything. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I'm so parched from just talking about the topic. So check out the website, candylovesyou.com. Follow me on all my social sites. The links will be below. If you have any questions or requests, anything, just leave them in the comments below or you can hit me up on the contact form on my website. With that said, I will see you lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids later. Candy loves you. Mwah.